Why is it so hard to quit sugar? It's not about your willpower. You're fighting a complex battle on three fronts. First, it's our brain's favorite reward. Think about it. Birthdays, festivals, celebrations. Since childhood, we've trained our brains to associate sugar with happiness. So when you eat something sweet, your brain releases dopamine, the famous feel-good chemical. And when you're stressed out, overstimulated, or feeling a little bit dull, your brain craves for that dopamine kick that comes with eating something sweet. But this dopamine hit isn't just because of your memories. The connection is much, much older. It's evolutionary. For our ancestors, sugar was a rare and valuable resource. Finding something sweet like ripe fruit meant a quick hit of glucose, which is the primary fuel for our cells and brain. That burst of energy was crucial for hunting or escaping danger. So our brains evolved a powerful survival mechanism. Find sugar, get the dopamine reward, and remember where to find more. We are literally programmed to seek it out. And third, the craziest part, these cravings might not even be yours. It could be coming from the bacteria in your gut. Yeah, you heard that right. When you eat a lot of sugar, you train a massive army of tiny bacteria in your gut to depend on it. So when you stop, this army goes hungry. But they don't go down quietly. They spring into action by sending alarm bells up to your brain via the gut-brain axis, demanding sugar now. And your brain has no option but to comply. This is what we interpret as intense sugar craving. So how do you fight back? Not with willpower, but with a whole food approach. Eating fiber, protein and healthy fats gives steady source of energy to your brain and feeds the good guys in your gut. This stops the sugar craving army from inside out. So flip the script in your head. It's not about restriction, it's about rebalancing. For more videos on the science of food, follow the Good Food Movement.